Hi everyone, welcome to Java Techie. Java 8 has introduced a lot of new features such as Lambda expressions, stream, functional interface, method references and many more. Right? So in this tutorial, we'll see what are method references and how we can use it. I'll try to provide more practical examples rather than theory. Okay? So without any further delay, let's get started. Method references are special type of lambda expression that execute only one method. And if you observe the general syntax of the method reference, it will something look like this. Object, then double colon, method name. Now you might have already guessed that you need to understand the lambda expression first. If you are comfortable with lambda expression, then let's move forward. If not, please check out my Java 8 playlist. So if you go to my YouTube channel, you will find a separate playlist called Java 8. Make sure to watch this lambda expression concept before you jump into the method reference. Okay. So for now, let's go with the method reference. I will try to break each and every flow. Begin from the anonymous implementation to the lambda expression. Then I will convert that to the method reference. So at least it will be easy for you to relate the things in the Java 8 syntax. Okay. So let's try to break down this syntax. So if you observe carefully, we are using two colon as a segregator and right part will be the method name which you want to call and left part is the reference or you can say instance to call that simple method. Okay. So this is just a signature. You no need to remember this particular syntax. For now, just understand the right part will be the method call or the name of the method which you want to call and left part will be always the reference to call that method. Okay. This is the overall signature of method reference. So to make it simple, let me walk you through one example. So let me go to the IntelliJ idea. You can see this class, right? I have a class called test and I have two method M1 and M2 method. Now, if I want to call M2 method, since this is the static method, I can call this method like this, right? Class name dot method name because that is the static method. And if you observe the M1 method, which is instance or non-static method. Now to call that M1 method, I need to create the object of test equal to new test. Now I will just call test dot M1 method. Now if I will execute, it will give me the result. So we got the result here. M2 and M1 method call. Right? Now what we will do? To make you familiar with the signature of method reference, I will just convert this method call in the form of method reference. Okay. So let me write the signature. As you know, the method reference signature, the left part will be the reference to call the method and right part will be the method name which you want to call. Now in this case, M2 is the static method and M1 is the instance method. Now let's try to understand I want to call M2 method. Okay. So the right part will be the method name, right? So I'll just write method name as a M2, which I want to call. Then I'll add the two columns for as a segregator. Then the left part will be the reference to call that M2 method. Now, how we can call the M2 method? Since this is the static, I can call it as a call with the help of class name. Okay. This is how you can call the static method by writing the signature of method reference. This is this will give you the error because this is not the exact signature and this is not the place you can write the method reference. The same thing when you are executing the stream pipeline rather than write the lambda expression to call a method, you can write this particular syntax. Okay. So I have just written here to make you more familiar about this signature. Now I want to call the M1 method. And I want to write the signature of this method reference. So I want to call the method which is M1 and I need to add the 
टू कॉलन देन द लेफ्ट पार्ट विल बी द रेफरेंस टू कॉल दैट एम वन मेथड सिंस दिस एम वन इज द इंस्टेंस मेथड आई कैन कॉल दैट विद द हेल्प ऑफ इट्स रेफरेंस राइट सो आई कैन जस्ट गिव द रेफरेंस वेरी सिंपल लेफ्ट पार्ट इज द रेफरेंस एंड राइट पार्ट इज द नेम ऑफ द मेथड विच यू वॉन्ट टू कॉल एंड हाउ यू कैन कॉल दैट मेथड कैन बी डिफाइन एज ए रेफरेंस सो दिस काइंड ऑफ सिनेरियो यू कैन कंसिडर एज ए स्टैटिक मेथड रेफरेंस एंड इफ यू आर कॉलिंग द नॉन स्टैटिक और इंस्टेंस मेथड दैट इज कॉल्ड इंस्टेंस मेथड रेफरेंस ओके देर आर डिफरेंट टाइप ऑफ मेथड रेफरेंस स्टैटिक मेथड रेफरेंस इंस्टेंस मेथड रेफरेंस एंड देर इज अनदर वन व्हिच इज कॉल्ड कंस्ट्रक्टर रेफरेंस ओके लेट्स राइट इट इन द डाउन दैट इज कंस्ट्रक्टर रेफरेंस ओके सो लेट मी कमेंट दिस आउट गाइस बिकॉज़ दिस इज जस्ट आई एक्सप्लेन टू अंडरस्टैंड द सिग्नेचर फाइन नाउ let's understand the actual implementation of method reference in the stream pipeline so here you understand how you can write the signature to define the method reference now let's implement it in the action okay so what i'll do i'll create a class okay so simple first i have created one employee class i mean i have only three field id name and salary now i have defined one service class i mean you can write everything in a main method but i just defines different class for it where i will just load employee from the dv here i just hard coded few employee object i mean 10 employee object using the range close from 1 to 10 it will give me the 10 employee object as a return type in a list okay so what i will do i'll create a class java class method reference demo okay let me zoom this i'll write a main method now i just want to call this service method okay so better i can make it static or it's fine i can create the object of it i'll create the object of it employee service service equal to new employee i mean employee service okay now this service dot load employees from the db will give me the list i want to convert it to the stream then i want to simply print all the employee from the dv i mean whatever the employee it will fetch i just want to print it so simple if you'll check the signature of for each it is taking the let me zoom this it is taking the argument as a consumer and we know that consumer is a functional interface it contains a method will take the input and the return type is void okay so let me anyway let let's go with the anonymous approach then we'll try to break it down so this will expect the consumer as a argument so i'll just create a object of it i mean we anyway we cannot create the object of any interface we can create the anonymous implementation of it okay now this is the method fine then inside this method simply i'll write sys out print the employee okay anyway since this is the list we no need to convert it to the stream because list dot for each method also available you can remove it fine now this is how the approach one i mean anonymous implementation now if i'll run this i'll get the result but before that i believe okay we overwrite the method that's fine because anyway inside the for each only we instantiate the consumer object right now let me run it we are getting all the 10 employee object information because that is how we are printing here right but this approach is the anonymous implementation i mean we are not using the lambda here we are just taking the consumer functional interface and we are creating anonymous implementation of it by overriding the accept method and then we are just printing it now let's break it further since we know this anonymous implementation can be converted as a lambda because this is the functional interface right and how we can do that so i will copy this or or else i will just write a another uh, line service dot get the employee from the dv 
just for each. Now I just want to convert this particular method to lambda expression. So the approach is very simple. I'll show you here. To write the lambda, just copy the method, remove the prefix. Okay. Even you don't need to specify the data type, just remove it and just need to define the arrow. Okay. Now simply you can copy this and you can paste it here. Okay. Since you have only after this arrow, if you have one statement, you don't need to define this bracket, you can remove it. Fine. Just remove this semicolon. Just format it properly. Fine. Even though if you have only one argument, you don't need to define this parameter. Now if you observe carefully, this is better readable, right? Rather than make it complex, I just used lambda expression to define the same. So this approach to is the lambda expression okay now again let's break it down so rather than writing this SOPLN here what I'll do I'll write a method public let's say I'll define a static method void print okay we'll take the employee object and it will simply print in the console fine now, how can I call this method using the method reference approach? Which method I want to call? Print method. I mean, I'm just writing it here. I want to call the print method. Now, since this is a static, how can I call this method? With the help of class name. Now, what is the class name? Just define that as a reference. That is method reference demo, right? Method reference demo then two column then the method you want to call so we need we no need to write here we need to write inside here okay so the method I want to call is print method and I, I can call this method with the help of class name just define its reference method reference demo okay you can remove this can you see here First we go with the anonymous approach which looks bit ugly and then we go with the lambda expression approach better I will just create a separate one. Okay, I will just write down here. This is the third approach which is method reference. Okay, so just remove this, fine. So this is the method reference approach. I define a method and I call that method from this loop using the class name. So th the signature of method reference is look like this. Method to call and what is the reference to call that method? If it is a non-static method, I will show you that how you can call the instance method with the different scenario. Now just think here why I will write a print method to call that particular uh, statement to print the employee object. Can't we use any existing uh, class of Java to print? Yes. Usually how we are printing here? System.out.println. So println itself is a static method. Can you see here? This is a println method and it is, it's not static. Just give me a second. Yeah. println is present in which class print stream if you will check the class it present in the print stream class and if you observe here not here if you go back print ln is a method out is a static variable of type print stream can you see here so how can I call that method print ln method system dot out dot print ln right that is how we are calling here that is how we are calling here right system is a class present in java dot lang package out is a static variable of type print stream and print ln is a method on print stream class 
so i can call this with the help of this static reference right so how i can call that method i'll just write this okay here i want to call the which method print method not the method which i created let's say i just want to call the print ln method okay i want to call the print ln method how can i call this i can use the out and then i can use the system class not here system dot out then call the method can i do like this method reference with predefined class with custom type okay see this print ln is the method i can call that method with the help of static reference of print stream type which is using the system dot out and system is nothing the class in java dot lang package so we simplifies the complex signature like this to single line call can you see here how easy i mean how how the format looks like it's not readable properly yes that is how this method reference is really help to write the complex lang lambda expression in the form of this method reference signature so here you can also run and test all the approach okay so i'll just add a breakpoint i mean bre line to break it so that you can at least understand that um, all the approach we are calling here so just add a breakpoint i mean a line to break for each method okay you can run it can you see here all the type we are getting the result here so same code can be write in the form of method reference in a single line okay now we are good with the static method reference because this print ln is nothing the type of static with the help of out we are able to call it or even we call our own print method because that is the static now let's try to find out a scenario to call the instance method reference okay for example what i'll do i'll just create see i have employee class right i'll write one dto class or what i can say i'll write one bo class so that i want to convert this employee object to that employee dto object okay some this is the scenario right usually from the request we send the employee dto and while inserting that object to the dv we are converting it to the model object right so just assume similar to that kind of scenario okay so i'll just create a class let's say employee do i mean database object fine let me zoom this i'll copy everything i mean all the field okay just go to the employee do add the field i need to add the constructor all argument constructor i need to add the constructor of default then i need to add getter and setter i need to add two string you can just add the lombok dependency and you can play with it uh, you no need to define those those many methods okay now next what i'll do i'll just write a converter class java class let's say employee mapper or converter any name you can give now let me zoom this so i just want to convert this employee object to employee do object while persisting into the dv i mean this is the simple logic okay so what i'll do i'll write a method public who will return me the employee do object and what it will take in the input employee object okay i'll write a method convert it will take the input employee and it will return me the employee do so i'll just add this logic nothing it will just create object of employee do 
and it will fetch each value from the employee and set to the corresponding field in employee do and finally it will return now just think once i'll make this method as a static i mean i'll show you in the both the approach static method reference and instance method reference for now i just make it static now what i'll do i'll go to the method reference demo okay so what i'll do i will comment all the logic here i mean unnecessarily it will print right so i'll just comment it out i will comment everything okay fine now simply what i want to do i will call service oh i commented the object also no it's there i'll just call service dot load employees from the dv convert it to the stream then what i want to do i will convert see this will give me the what it will return me it will give me the list of employee object i want to convert that list of employee to list of employee do what i can do i can just call map method right the argument of map is function so if you go and check this function will have the two argument one is the input one is the return type okay and the method is apply okay so you can try creating the implementation of function and you can play with it or else i will show you right away new function employee and object object is nothing that employee do that is what our return type right it will cry because you need to override the method and you need to override the apply method okay now here you need to write this logic whatever i have written in the mapper class so just go there just copy copy this piece of code okay now if you will execute this finally you need to return it right otherwise how can you collect the value and you can capture it Uh, employee dios and you can print it now if you'll run this you'll get the object of employee do because we are giving employee object and we are just converting to the employee do in the code okay now to simplify this what i can do i can write the lambda expression rather than using this anonymous implementation now how i can use the lambda expression simple just copy this method okay i mean i'll break it down i'll i'll copy in the down okay just write this method remove all the prefix fine remove the data type it's not required now just define the arrow then this right so what i'll do now i'll just copy this piece of code and i will just remove this because anyway i am not going to go with the anonymous implementation just remove everything from here just paste that piece of code fine now if you will run this you will get the result but again this is lambda approach what we did again i want to simplify this i don't want to write this mapper logic here what i'll do i'll just write in a simple or separate class which is the employee mapper now what i can do i will also remove this what i'll do i'll get employee object then simply i will call that method what is the method name if you'll go and check here the method name is convert and where it is presented employee mapper class so what i'll do i'll go to the code i will just use employee mapper dot convert method give the employee object what you are iterating here fine i got the result now if i'll run it this is also short form of the lambda because the conversion logic we have written in the different class i'll just run it i got the result 
but again i don't want to use the lambda expression so what i can do which method i want to call i want to go for the method reference i want to call the convert method okay just write the method name now this is not required now this is the method name i want to call and add the segregator now what is the reference to call that method convert method i know it is there in the employee mapper class and how can i call this method in some other class with the help of class name right because that is a static just go to the method reference i mean go to this particular class give the reference to call this convert method okay this yeah this is not the class right where we have the logic in employee mapper i can call the convert method since this is a static with the help of class name class name is employee mapper just go back and give the class name can you see how how much complex is this just the method you want to call and how to call that method and what is the reference of it okay this will help you to use the method reference you can go with the anonymous you can go with the lambda then later you can convert it to the method reference now we understand this is the static method reference because this convert method is static here right so i'll just remove it now if you'll go and check this is the instance method to call this instance method i need the object of this employee mapper now if you'll go and check here this will cry what is the result here non static method cannot be referenced from a static context so what you need to do you need to create the object of your employee mapper equal to new employee mapper and then you can use the mapper here can you see here this is what nothing instance method reference okay so call with the class name is called static method reference call with the object name is called i mean mean it instance method reference okay now let's try some different use case okay this may this course might be lengthy but i will cover each and every concept of this method reference it looks easy the signature looks easy but really to understand when to use this method reference and types of method reference and in different scenario is really confusing okay so what i'll do i'll try the second approach so for now let me comment this out okay unnecessary it will execute i mean we'll find the print statement otherwise let it be so what i'll do let's say i have the list of employee with me what i want i want only name of each employee so what i can do simply i can use service dot load employees from dv convert it to the stream okay then map again you can create the anonymous of function because this map will take the anonymous uh, implementation of function okay so this will iterate and give me the each employee so i can simply call right get name of the employee then i will collect it as a list it will give me the list of string object if you will capture here it will give me the list of string or name list something like that now you can print it sys out name list now if i'll run this i got the result here right employee 1 employee 2 3 up to 10 but what i can do rather than this what is this we are using we are using the lambda here right e is the object then arrow mark then get the name so i can happily convert this to a method reference how i'll just write it down get name can you see here get name and we are just giving the reference as a employee so usually when we give the class name to call a method if it is a static but if you'll go and check in the get name method it's not static right this is one of the tricky interview question you need to remember now if you observe here this get name is not a static method but still i'm able to call that with the help of class name so don't consider this as a class name what happens in the 
the field whatever you have defined or it's not required i mean okay i will show you in the different way okay so just go back this map will take the input as a function right and function will have both input as well as the return type so if any method found without input i mean this argument by default it considered as a static in java id stream approach okay so if you observe in the get name it does not contains any input for example let's say i am just adding something here okay or better i'll write a separate method for demo demo um, i have written here public string i have defined a method called test okay i'll return something now how can i call this test method in the stream operation what i am doing here simply i can just call employee double colon test see this test method is not static i mean this is the instance method so to call this method i need the object of this particular employee class then i can call it right but since this map will allow as an input function if that function does not have the see th that is what i am showing here in function we have the method apply right input and output if the method does not contains any input then it will be considered as a static method so to prove that what i'll do go to the test method i'll add some argument int a okay or i'll just give something let's say employee employee now if you'll check here this will cry and what is the error non static method cannot be referred from a static context so if the method will have the argument then this will be considered as a uh, instance method if even though there is a not static keyword but this method does not have any input or argument then here you can access that with the help of this constant okay so that is what one confusion part in this particular method reference so i found lot of comment get name or get id is not a static method but how can we call with the help of class name it's because they these methods don't have any argument okay so this will be considered as a static reference with the constant employee fine so you can play with this now if i will run this i will get the result 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 all the employee object i am getting here i mean the name of the employee okay fine we understand about the static method reference instance method reference of object type now the last is the constructor reference okay let's go to the intellij idea here now let's understand we we got the context about the method reference right we are just calling the method now in case of constructor we don't have any method right constructor is a special type of method so in method reference we will call the method in constructor reference we will call the constructor okay so the signature reference and constructor now usually how we call the constructor with the help of new keyword let's say i want to call the constructor of some class let's say this employee do how i can call that employee do okay then how we usually call the constructor with the help of new keyword right this is nothing the constructor reference okay i will i will give you one demo but this is just a signature to remember i mean in case of method reference we give the method name here but in case of constructor reference we give the constructor reference and we usually use the new keyword to call a constructor so that is the reason you need to define something like this okay so let me write a separate class to demonstrate this constructor reference um what i'll do i'll just create a interface okay functional interface let's say i'll give um, uh, i'll give the name something employee manager or something like that now this employee manager i'll write a method see basically this kind of uh, constructor reference required when you have a single abstract method and return type is any object then you can go for the constructor reference for example let's say i just want to return um, employee object 
okay get employee object i have this method inside my interface which is the functional interface because only one abstract method i have now i have already the class called employee so for example i'll write some method in the employee class okay so already i have written here right test or i can write something um, public i mean in any method you can give for demo public will return me the or i will just keep a void get employee info let me zoom this i will just write here sys out okay i am a method in employee class fine so i have this functional interface and i have this employee class where i have a method i define a method but you need to remember this i have one functional interface whose return type is any object it can be employee it can be customer or it can be anything in that case to represent the constructor or to call the constructor of this employee i can use the method reference for example let's say um, I'll, I'll, i'll write here okay go to the method reference demo what i'll do i have the main method already let me zoom this let me close this i'll write it here fine first let's go with the lambda approach lambda what usually we need to do so go to this manager i need to convert this to the lambda expression right so i will just copy the method name just go to this demo to represent a lambda just remove the prefix this method will return first add the arrow this will return some employee object right that that is what we have written here right it will return the employee object so i will just write new employee okay i'll i'll okay i'll give let's say something 101 name i have default constructor as well right yeah let's ignore the parameter for now fine now just assign it to your functional interface which is employee manager manager equal to this now how i can call that method manager i mean this is the reference right dot get the employee then call the method what is the method name we have defined um get employee info right now if i'll run this i got the result here can you see here i am a method in employee class now this is what we have defined using the lambda but i want to use the method reference i no need to call this constructor like this new employee i can what i can do simply i'll um, i'll write something like this okay now whose constructor i want to call employee class so employee now how can i call the constructor new just define the reference manager 1 equal to this can you see here i'll call manager 1 dot get employee object then get employee info now if i'll run it i got the result here okay this is simple if you have one functional interface and it contains an abstract method and it is returning some object that object you want to call then you can go for the constructor reference i will give you another simple example let's say um, okay i will write it here only let's say i have a uh, service dot get all the employee service dot load employee from the dv i'll convert it to the stream now let's say i want to get all the id of employee in a different list for example i'll get all the id how can i get get id method in employee because it does not contains any parameter it will be considered as a constant and static okay now 
this i want to add in a different array list okay usually what you will do you will create a separate list outside then you will since you are looping it you will just add separately to that list right but i can use the constructor reference here how i will just use map um array list of new you can copy this to different array list object okay see this array list is nothing the class and this new is the constructor called to create the object of it so this id will be now mapped to here okay either you can return it as a list or you can print it here itself so you can print here let me see for each system i mean it, i believe it will return the stream you need to convert it let's see okay let's run it okay it will give a stream of object okay so you need to cast it and you need to run it fine so this is how you can play with the method reference so you understand different type of method reference and their use case static method reference instance method reference and constructor reference okay so yeah that's it all about this particular method reference concept do let me know in a comment section if you have any doubts